السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ شبہات کا ازالہ پیج کو سبسکرائب کریں اور بیل آئیکن دبائیں سب سے پہلے ویڈیو دیکھنے کے لیے بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Further notes from translation team. Salient historical points relevant to the contemporary issue in Dawat and Tabligh by Hazrat Maulana Yusuf Mutala Damad Barkatuhum. Produced is a brief translation of three bayans of Hazrat Maulana Yusuf Mutala Damad Barkatuhum. Note, best attempt has been made to make the translation as close as possible to the Urdu version. Important clarification, this translation has been produced independently and for the benefit of doubt and brevity, Hazrat Maulana Yusuf Mutala has no knowledge or involvement whatsoever that this English translation is being published. However, the audio recording in Urdu is widely available on social media. Maulana Yusuf Mutala Sahab, 25th March 2018 and 1st April 2018, Masjid Zakaria, Bolton. On the demise of Maulana Saad Sahab's father at a tender age, the mother of Maulana Saad Sahab wrote to Hazrat Sheikh Rahmatullahi stating that you are undoubtedly aware through the Almighty as to who did what to my husband. Prove me with the name so that I may curse and make dua against him in my prayers. Hazrat Sheikh addressed her in a letter and said, My dear daughter, don't ever think who did what. He then proceeded to console and advised her on how to benefit her late husband. Thereafter, Hazrat Sheikh wrote a letter to Maulana Saad's grandfather, Maulana Izharul Hassan Sahab. In it, he wrote that, after Maulvi Inamul Hassan, it's you, and in the interim, you should undertake such tarbiya of Saad that he acquires such capability that he can oversee the effort like his grandfather and great-grandfather. What was the effect of this push by Hazrat Sheikh and what must have been the effect of his dua this is evident from the news reaching us from Malaysia and Indonesia following Maulana Saad Sahab's visit to these countries prior to the janaza of Maulana Yusuf rahmatullah alay Hazrat ji assembled the akabirin ulama such as Qari Tayyib Sahab rahmatullah alay Maulana Ali Mia rahmatullah alay Maulana Asad Madni rahmatullah alay etc and told them of his intention to submit the name of Maulana Inamul Hasan as the new amir There was consensus that this was the correct decision and therefore Hazrat Sheikh publicly announced the appointment. Hazrat Sheikh subsequently received a letter from Raven criticizing the appointment. The letter stated, You have made Nizamuddin the questions of the peers of Punjab, meaning that if the peer dies, the son inherits. That is, they were unhappy with the appointment, even though Hazrat Sheikh had appointed him by Mashwara. When Maulana Inamul Hassan Rahmatullahi passed away, all of Raven attended the janaza. After burial, they undertook mashwara, following which they made three announcements, two of which were A. No bay'ah will take place here from now on and B. There will be no amir here. Ulama present reprimanded them for making such an announcement to which one individual responded with the same statement that was made at the time of demise of Maulana Yusuf Rahmatullahi. You have made Nizamuddin the questions of the peers of Punjab. He went on to say that we have snatched the question of the peers of Punjab. At masjid e noor Bradford, 21st April 2018. In 1971, Hazrat Sheikh Zakaria Rahmatullah Ali was residing with Maulana Sayyid Ahmad Khan Sahab in Medina, Masjid e Noor. At that time, the people of Raivan were conducting mashwara in Jeddah. In that mashwara, it was decided that a spokesperson visit Hazrat Sheikh and inform him that his residing with Maulana Sayyid Ahmad Khan Sahab was harmful to the effort of Tabligh. Four people visited Hazrat Sheikh and informed him as such. A few days prior to this incident, Maulana Muhammad Umar Palanpuri saw a dream in which Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam informed him that he should pass his salam to Hazrat Sheikh and inform him that four people would be visiting him and that Hazrat Sheikh shouldn't even allow them to get close to him. as their objectives were politically motivated unfortunately molana umar palanpuri was unable to convey the message in time due to this fitna by the raven party hazrat sheikh returned to india Maulana Sayyid Ahmad Khan Sahab and Hazrat Ali Mia Sahab Nadwi in 1976 Maulana Sayyid Ahmad Khan Sahab was in a gathering of old workers which included Maulana Ahmad Lad Sahab Maulana Ismail Godra Sahab and other puranas too Maulana Sayyid Ahmad Khan Sahab suddenly turns toward Maulana Ahmad Lad Sahab and says look don't you ever leave Marcus Nizamuddin no matter whatever happens Hazrat Ali Mia Sahab Nadwi like Hazrat Maulana Sayyid Ahmad Khan Sahab Hazrat Ali Mia Sahab Nadwi also advised Maulana Ahmad Lad Sahab 
डोंट एवर बी बॉट आउट बाय एनी वन देर आर प्लेंटी ऑफ बिडर्स एंड बायर्स दीज एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ फोर साइट हैव कम टू बी ट्रू सच अटरेंस दैट वेज सेट फोर्टी ऑड ईयर्स अगो रही Sometimes such words of wisdom and importance are uttered by the friends of Allah that are only fulfilled in the future. Similarly, the words of Miyadi Abdul Rahman Sahab are also proving to be reality, one word at a time, such that nobody could even imagine such a sincere, far-sighted, selfless, unrevealed individual such as Maulana Ibrahim Deola Sahab would ever say goodbye to Nizamuddin Markaz. May Allah return him back to his home, Markaz Nizamuddin. Amin. Disclaimer from translation team first questions pertaining to the veracity of the content should not be posed to the translators of the qists their job is to translate they are not spoke people for the urdu author mala mehboob second any responsible question pertaining to the english translation itself example structure wording etc will be answered third unreasonable questions will not be answered example where it is obvious that the reader has not read the translation fully and is asking a question that has already been covered in the document itself or previously if you do not receive a response understand that you may be in this category fourth no response will be given to sarcastic comments or questions aimed at being deliberately confrontational again if you do not receive a response understand that you may have made such a comment or posed such a question fifth finally acquit yourself like an intelligent muslim instead of engaging in pedantry nitpicking or looking for minute discrepancies that have no overall bearing try to understand the translation holistically may allah taala grant us understanding ameen